What's the mood of a young team right now? Uh, nine straight losses. Well, obviously, obviously not happy. Anytime you're uh, you're winless in nine games, it's uh, there's not a lot of, uh, of uh, smiles in that dressing room. Uh, you know, when we look at our body of work when we were on the road there, we uh, we felt we had some real strong games. Obviously, be able to uh, to claw some points out of those games uh, on the road, uh, but still not being able to have the success that we want. Uh, there's frustration there. There's a school of thought that losing can can toughen players, but can lose, losing also have an effect on players their psyches losing what losing does is is you find out a lot about individuals you you learn a lot about uh, about uh, players uh, adversity you you find ways to uh, uh, to understand uh, how you need to get better how you need to improve uh, but also uh, losing is not fun it's not fun for uh, for anyone whenever you're not having success uh, there has to be a balance there uh, we understand that we're playing against the number one team in the American Hockey League. We understand that they've scored 100 plus more goals than us. But uh, at the end of the day, you still have to find a way uh, to play to your identity, to play to the reason why uh, you're at this level. And uh, uh, that has to be there, uh, you know, regardless of who you're playing. You got to make sure that that's uh, that's the footprint you're putting on the ice. Can you build an identity and a culture, not in spite of the losing, but, but alongside the losing, if, if you're growing and you're starting to see that development well you have to you know you got to make sure the guys are getting better and we feel you know we feel the players are making strides obviously the results aren't anywhere where we want them to be uh, but building an identity there there's an identity there that there's a certain way you have to play the game um, and at the end of the day if, if we can close our eyes uh, after uh, the work ethic is there and um, and the game is played the way it needs to be played uh, and there's a loss and you know it's not easy to take uh, but you can at least uh, close your eyes and be able to stomach that but whenever it's it's not the game isn't played um, with the the level that you need to be able to have a chance to win the game, then uh, those are the losses that are tough to stomach. Are you, are you seeing the bench getting getting down when you guys get down by one or two goals and then it just gets worse and worse? Um, I wouldn't say that it gets down. Uh, I would say that, uh, that we realize in a game like tonight that any time you get down uh, against a team like the Marlies, uh, it's an uphill climb. Uh, even though it's a five-on-three goal against, it's still an uphill battle to get yourself back in the game there. An excellent hockey team, um, but um, whenever you get that first goal scored against, uh, that's a, that's quite the hill to climb against that team. Seemed like you guys had a pretty decent start to the game. Just that second period kind of really went downhill fast. Yeah, I liked our start. I thought, uh, you know, obviously both teams coming off all-star break. Uh, I thought we did some good things. I thought uh, we got our feet moving, uh, considering the amount of time off. But the second period where... Uh, uh, you know, obviously the goals against um, and them really picking up the pace of play, uh, you know, got us back on our heels there. So, you know, the first not bad. Uh, second is where it really came back to uh, to haunt us. This is a piece where you feel like you do have a finger on the pulse of what the issues are and it's a matter of correcting them or what you find with uh, Patrick, with uh, you know, with teams that are kind of getting their feet wet um, at this level, is that uh, there's a whole bunch of different things that have to be fixed. And uh, you know, obviously, we started the season. You look at we have to fix our D zone. You get that D zone coverage fixed, uh, and then now you're having trouble scoring goals. So now you focus on a little bit of trying to score goals, and your defensive zone structure gets out of place a little bit. Now you get both those pieces in place. Your power play isn't where it wants to be. You look to patch that up. That's in a good place. The other two have deficiencies. So. Um, Whenever you have uh, guys that are again, uh, you know, trying to find their way at times, uh, there's always a uh, there's always some give and take there. As opposed, you feel like you're kind of always plugging holes, you know, like the windy springs and. Then I would say I would say every year, coach. You know, coaches. That's uh, that's what we do. You know, you plug holes. Um, it's a matter of if you know if you can if you can um, make sure you're plugging one or two. But when it's when it's really leaky and there's there's you know there's um, you know three or four that are uh, that uh, that are starting to cause you some uh, some chances against, then uh, then obviously you don't get the results. Eric Crombie's a really strong kid, really strong mentally. Uh, how's this? Wayne, I mean, is it at all? He's been fine. Yep. He's been fine. He's a real positive kid, as you guys know. He's uh, he's upbeat. Uh, he realizes he's a real good goalie. I've told him uh, flat out that he's an excellent goaltender, and he's going to have a long career ahead of him. So uh, he's given us a chance to win games here and doing his job. Thanks, okay, thank you, guys. Have a good night.